And I would like to go back to Alan Thick, if I may. Sure. I'd like to go back to Alan Thick, if I may. Because last week we were talking about, I was trying to explain the day my son went punk. And I was talking about the star. And I said that the star was uh, in the 80s for a small period in time. It seemed like he was going to be the next big thing. He was in a couple of movies like The Boy Who Could Fly. And I couldn't remember the name, Not Quite Human. But I was like, he was in these movies where he was a robot. And they were on the Disney Channel all the time. And he starred with... Oh, shit, what's the name of that guy? He was on that sitcom, and I couldn't remember his name. That was the thing. I couldn't remember Alan Thicke's name. And last week on the podcast, I was wrestling time to remember Alan Thicke's name. So apparently, that infected my dream. Okay. Because because Alan Thicke, like literally a couple of hours after doing the last episode of the podcast, I had an Alan Thicke-related dream. That's frightening. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's even weirder when you learn what the dream was. So, it, it, and the best part is, I've got this on tape. You got it on, okay. It, it, well, I never remember my dreams, ever at all, period, whatsoever. I occasionally have dreams, but once I wake up, it just automatically disappears. So, anyway, I had this weird ass dream and I I was having this weird ass dream and Alan Thick was in it and then the baby started freaking out mm-hmm. because Natasha like left the bed to go to the bathroom and the baby realized it and started crying so she's like I need to go to the bathroom hold the baby so that the baby doesn't fall off the bed, and I'm half asleep. I'm still kind of asleep, but I'm wake. Uh, I'm awake enough to know that I'm not going to be able to go back to the dream, and that sucks. And it's like, holy shit, I remember my dream right now. And so I, I'm half asleep, and my eyes are like glossed over, and I, I, and I'm barely conscious. But when Natasha comes back to bed, I start telling her my dream, and it's so obviously weird and fucked up that. My wife, being the smart woman she is, immediately whipped out her phone and started recording me. (laughs) She's so freaking smart to do this. I never would have thought of doing this, but she whipped out her phone and said, I'm sorry, what was that again, honey? And I explained my dream perfectly to the phone. I don't even know the phone is in front of me because I don't have my glasses on and I'm still half asleep. But apparently what I told my wife was the dream, which was I was at college and I was sad about a breakup. I don't remember who the breakup was with, but I was sad about the breakup. And I was while I was walking through college, I noticed there was a fast food restaurant on campus. And um, uh, what's his name from Brooklyn Nine-Nine and Hot Rod? Thank you. Oh. Andy Sandberg is working at the fast food restaurant. Okay. But I've been watching a lot of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, so I'm pretty sure that it wasn't actor Andy Sandberg, but actor Andy Sandberg's cop character, Jake Peralta, being Woo! undercover okay. at this fast food restaurant. Because apparently at this fast food restaurant, they serve regular food, but if you pay a lot more, and I mean a lot more, and I mean a shit ton of money. If you're like rich and you pay a shit ton of money, they will serve you their fast food with tiger meat. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that's why Andy Sandberg's character, Jake Peralta was working at the fast food restaurant so that he could get to the bottom of the tiger meat case. So he is just working at the fast food place. And there's people waiting in line to get regular food. And then suddenly, a bunch of people get mowed down. A bunch of people get mowed down by a huge limousine that just drives through campus and on the sidewalk. And people are just bouncing off of this uh, limousine. And the limousine window rolls down. And it's actor Alan Thicke. And he's come for a tiger meat meal. And I'm sad, and I'm walking through campus, and I'm sad about the breakup, and I'm like, hey, that's Andy Sandberg. He's working at that restaurant that serves tiger meat. Oh, my God, that's Alan Thicke. 
Alan Thicke has come to buy tiger meat. Is Andy Sandberg going to give it to him? Is Andy Sandberg going to try and take down Alan Thicke? And that's when I woke up. So Natasha perfectly got this on camera and where I'm just there. Andy Sandberg was working at a food restaurant to serve Tiger Me. It's a perfect video, and I keep telling Natasha to send it to me so I can put it on the internet. I think yeah, oh my god, it belongs there. It it must it's yeah. Fucking hilarious. It's right up there with all of those videos of those people who like come home after having like dental surgery and they're all whacked out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's weird because, like, a couple of hours before, I was racking my brain on the podcast trying to remember this actor's name, and then once I went to sleep, my brain went, okay, Steve, did you guess the answer? The answer was Alan Thicke. Here he is buying tiger meat. Like, my brain knew the answer. I just didn't know. So my brain just let me know. And, like, I couldn't think of his name, but once I woke up, I'm like, that was Alan Thicke, all right. Alan Thick, thank you, Brain. <laughs> Quite fascinating. So yeah, I'm having Alan Thick dreams now, and that's pretty awesome. And, and, so, and, and yet still frightening. Yeah, yeah. You you shouldn't I, I think you should see somebody. You know, you hey. shouldn't be you shouldn't be dreaming about Alan Thick. Hey, I, I see a lot of people. I like to fight around. I'm like Batman. <laughs> I like to fight around. 